Let's play the slapping card game, Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to Playing Games. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This is a warlike reflex style shedding card game. The player to get out of cards first is the winner. It can be played with three to eight players, but I suggest at least four. Gameplay. One by one, players flip a card from their stack and if a slappable card comes up, all players must slap the middle pile. The last player to slap the pile loses and must take the whole middle pile. With six to eight players, shuffle the cards and deal equal amounts to all players. For a three to five player game, each player gets 12 cards. Put the remaining cards back in the box. We'll play with three players for demonstration, but as I said, it's better played with four or more players. The name of the game is Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza, and knowing the order of those words in the title is quintessential to playing this game. Starting with the player to the left of the dealer, put a card in the center face up saying Taco. Taco. If the card is not Taco or a special card, the next player goes. The player to their left flips over their next card and says Cat. If the card does not match the word they said, play continues. The next word you would say is goat. So I would say goat. As that card is not goat, we move on. The next word is cheese, cheese. As that card is not cheese, play goes on. The last word is pizza. Well, it's goat, so we keep going. After we finish the title of the game, taco, cat, goat, cheese, pizza, we start again with taco, taco. Next word, cat. Okay, so we've said cat and we see cat. Now everybody must slap the pile and the last person to slap gets the pile. If I was the last person to slap, I would get stuck with all the cards and I'd put them at the bottom of my pile. And I get to start the next new card, taco. After the last word, pizza, the next player repeats the mantra again with taco, then cat and so on. Do you get it? If a player says their word, for example, cheese, and they flip over the cheese card, that's a match, and all players must slap their hands on the middle pile. The last one to slap loses and must take the whole pile and put it at the bottom of their deck. That loser resets the mantra by playing their top card as they say, taco. Play continues until a slappable action is triggered again. And that's basically it. However, there are three special cards. These cards are the gorilla, the groundhog, and the narwhal. If any of these cards are played, they trigger a unique slappable sequence. If the gorilla is played, all players must beat their chest like the alpha gorilla they always knew they were. And then slap the middle pile. Either the last player to slap the middle, or if a person fouls to beat their chest like the gorilla, they take the middle pile. If the groundhog card is played, all players must thump the table with both hands and then race to slap the middle pile. The last person to slap the deck loses and must take the pile. Finally, if the narwhal card is played, all players must clasp their hands over their heads, forming a unihorn, and then race to slap the middle pile. Now, if a player screwed up their action like pounding the table when they should have pounded their chest for the gorilla card, they immediately lose regardless of the order in which they slap the middle pile. After a special card has been played, the loser of the action resets the play by playing their topmost card and saying taco. The game continues until one player is out of cards. Ending the game. The game does not immediately end when a player is out of cards. Rather, they must also win a slap, meaning they have to be the first hand down on the correct slappable card. If they do this, the game is over. Reshuffle the cards and play again. If the player who's out of cards is the last to slap the pile when they should slap it, they take the pile and have new cards to play with. Penalties. There are a few penalties for players who aren't paying enough attention or playing in a sneaky way. If a player says the wrong word on their turn, they must take the middle pile. Pizza. Whoops. That should have been goat. Now they have to take the whole pile. Players may not take a sneak peek at their card when placing it to the middle pile, such as pulling your card slowly like this, getting a peek at it, and then putting it down. You're not being sneaky. It's obvious what you're doing. First time, give them a warning. The next time, give them the whole pile as a penalty. Obviously, if you're playing with very young children, don't be overly strict with them. Let them have fun. If a player is hovering, flinching, or makes a false slap, they must take the whole pile as a penalty. Final thoughts. This is a great family or party game. The rules are very simple, but it's the mix of concentration and physical reflexes that require all players to put down their phones and focus on this group activity for once. For that reason, TCGCP has become a current day classic. Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. Well, the first part is a palindrome, Taco Cat. If you mix up the letters of Goat Cheese Pizza, you can make any Italian surname. Did I get something wrong or do you play it differently or just wanna say hi? Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, comment, and share to help this channel grow. Also, help support this channel with a digital donation or by buying official playing game stuff. You are great. See you next time on Playing Games. Don't forget, go